Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to November, and I must congratulate each and everyone here. Those who are not turning on the camera are very, very uh, being insulted. Please turn on the camera, please. Except the one wearing the green shirt one. That one, you know that they, they both are okay. Thank you, Liang Ning, Suye. Please turn on again. Hao Xian, Ming Shen, and Eric, and Alex, please. Welcome to November. Wow, I think this month itself, I will not treat you as a set one. Wow, that's a nice beat. I will not treat you as a set one student. Okay, you are now officially promoted to set two. Okay, congratulations. Yes, officially by right, you will be starting your set two in 2022 January. Okay, all right. But anyway, congratulations. Uh, some of you have been with me for the past 10 months. I really appreciate that. And today there'll be a bit difference because we're going to go through for some of you the IP as promised and some of you for the uh, express students as well. Wow, please don't play with fire. <laughs> Christmas is just around the corner, right? So don't play with fire. What is this? Are you a smoker, Liang Ning? Because that one is like, like you're lighting out a secret. Okay, Eric, can you turn on the camera, Eric and Hao Xian? Please don't waste my time. Keep repeating and repeating and same thing over and over again. So let's share the screens. Uh, today I have a new screen, so I'm not sure whether you're able to see the screen as what I'm looking at. Are you using a phone? No, I'm not using a phone. Why? Why? Why, why, why? Quite obvious. It's not a phone. Why? Let's say it looks a bit portrait. Yes, like. correct. Because I just bought a monitor that is showing portrait. So instead of this uh, landscape, right? Inter, you're right. So I tune it up into a. Why? A, 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 why? Why? What? You all cannot see me. Why yeah, do you, you can want see? To... But then why would you want a portrait? Yeah, why would you want? Oh yeah, why do I want that? It's easier for me yeah. to go through like. huh? It's easier for me to read because my it's right in front of me. Now I got two monitor plus my laptop. Okay. Use another horizontal monitor. Why you mean y'all cannot see this one? Too small. We, we can, but it feels oh. it's just weird, right? Okay, but only for this part here, but then later there's another screen. So it's easier for me to read because we Okay, so um, importance of ideology. Okay, today, this month topic, we are talking about ideology, unemployment, and cyber wellness. So today, we are talking about ideologies. And next week, I'm going to show a video, okay, and uh, some other uh, information about ideology. So first of all, let's go around the table. What is ideology? Eric, can you turn on the camera, please, as well, how Shen? Uh, in terms of what you mean by ideology? Huh? Ideology. Oh, uh, wait, do I read out or do I... No, no, just tell me first, yeah. Uh, like, ideas. Okay. Um, someone, I think. No, like, maybe it's like, some kind of, like, you know, the art of ideas. You know. Hey, how Xian? Well, nice to see your good face, man, and your background. Well, I love that smile, baby. Well done. Okay, in terms, so sorry, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, now you are set to students, so give me a more solid answer, okay? Your, uh, your answer is correct. Your answer is correct, but uh, I want more profound answer, right, Ken? Okay? What do you mean by more profound? Okay, you don't just say uh, it's from people's ideas. Uh, Uncle Raymond, if I'm not wrong, correct me if I'm not wrong, say it's something from ideas from other people, for example, remember, uh, talk like that, so then how? Okay, a bit tough, right? I know your exam just over, all right? But no, I have higher expectation now from all of you. Okay, tell you are. Uh, but your answer is correct, my dear. But I just want you to be more profound, more professional. Okay, I tell you. Carry on. 
let me start again. Everyone will have a chance, huh? and please do not Google it. Okay, be honest. Let's go. So, so I retain nothing, right? Okay, uh, so ideology is the kind of, I mean, ideology is the art of ideas from somebody, or rather like it's, it kind of can be done, if I'm not wrong. So, okay, thank you. Yang Chen. Uh, I think ideology is how a person or a government respond to problems and deal with events. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Chenan? Trust me, everyone must say something because later I will show you, you know what I mean, why it is important for today's topic and it's going to be impact for the next few years of your life in your set two all the way to your set four. And it's more, more, much more important, especially for the IT student. Excuse me, I'm not saying the express student is not important or the any student is not important, please. Huh? Okay, later you understand why I meant. Okay, turn on. Um, can I think for? Sure. Ichi, you're done. I think it's someone's thoughts and ideas. That's all? Yeah, I don't really know this word. Don't no worry, no worry, no worry, please. Okay, Eric, I'm so sorry. I just saw your message. You say you turned on your camera, but unfortunately, all of us can't see your face. It's all blank pitch. I think your camera got some problem. Either that you re uh, lock off and lock in again. I think it's your Wi Fi. Mingyi, what is your idea? What is the definitions of ideology? Uh, ideology is the beliefs and thoughts of it and feelings that is processed by human's mind. That's all? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Liang Ning, your turn. Ideology right, affects how you think and make decisions. Mm, okay. So far, I like this answer. Uh, okay. Now, doesn't mean the rest is not good. Huh? Ping Shen, any more? Sorry, Dan Ning, sorry. Nope. Okay. Thank you, sir. Eric, um, um, Eric, lock off already, so you can't talk to him now. Yes, Ping Shen. Oh, is it like something to uh, use to explain? Or uh, beliefs, and uh, and also to explain like origin. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So yeah, what you what is your definitions for ideology? Uh, Alex? Is it like, um, like a study of like how like, a study of the ideas coming from a person, uh, which is affected by their characteristics or their nature? Mm. That's all? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Thank you, sir. Eric, your turn. Eric, we still can't see you, never mind. Come. As long as you're there, can't really, huh? don't worry about Don't play with the camera, don't waste time with really. it. Okay. Eric, uh, you can talk, right? I mean, unless your mic also got a problem. Well, I think the ideology is the study of the study of ideas because there's the word idea inside the, the word ideology. And so it's a group of ideas that you know, just a studying of people's no, of something's ideas like the idea of science for this. Hmm. Okay. So method will be inside methodology. Okay. Right. So uh yes, Tanan. Um is it like a system of ideas from and the ideas are made from like the 
different individuals because of their different opinions. So it's like a it's a system of ideas we from their own point of view. Mm, okay. Thank you. And see it. Let's be fair, everyone take part. Now you all are set two ready. No more set one. I don't treat you as a set one student, okay? And why I choose these topics uh, every year around this time, there is a reason for that, all right? So, uh, how Shen, what is your definition for ideology? I don't really know that word. Oh, never mind. Just with Ralph, guess. What do you think? I mean, I think you heard from some of your classmates here, right? So, Takai, Takai, no, I, I didn't hear. The oh. microphone got some problem, so I locked off. Uh, okay, so, uh, do you have any idea? I think so far, I liked Liang Ning's and Eric's um, definitions and explanations as well as Chen Anna. So, okay, without further ado, ideologies is a set of concepts people have. Uh, the attitude towards how you believe that ideas work on, for, a, for example, a particular organization or individuals, or maybe a country. Now, ideologies can be a bigger sense. We're talking about communism, socialism, democratic, republic, Nazism, and um, uh, fascism, militarism, the, or the ISMism. Ideology is not just to brainwash a certain group of people and organization or country. Ideology is to put in the concept, the belief, an idea that you think, hey guys, you're supposed to do this, 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 this. For example, what is the greatest things for ideology, for example, a group parents? How about you? Uh, it's called the SP methodologies where you need a lot of sets of ideas, especially for the IT student. What is knowledge? It's a, what is knowledge? What kind of ideology of knowledge do you concept? What is knowledge? Uh, knowledge is like, uh, like something that you that you store in your brain, and then you you always know. You are right, no, Inter. You are right. A knowledge is like a data bank you store in the in the in your brain. We call the the brain power, right? So when you when and where and how and where, what and which knowledge you're going to use. For example, you know that tomorrow you are going for math exam. You need to apply the knowledge of that formula for math. You're not going to apply the formula for science or history and per se. So this ideology is important, especially now you're set to why, ladies and gentlemen, okay? The important is because you need to decide what kind of courses you're going to apply in set three. And that is your career and your future and your destinations. What are you going to do? Are you going to be a doctor? Are you going to be an engineer? Are you going to be an architect? Are you going to be a businessman? And so on and so forth. What kind of ideal occupations, career, and, and concept are you going to learn? Okay, right. So thank you. Um, and of course, Mingyi, you also explained very well on that. Um, okay, let's move on to this. Okay, Mingyi, would you mind be kind enough to read the first uh, is the word too small? Can we now? Yes. Can we now? Okay, go. The importance of ideology. Ideology is an important factor in determining how people make decisions. In order to make good decisions, you have to have an open mind to all the potential solutions for the issue under consideration. What so what is ideology? Your... Sorry, uh, let me start off with the introduction with what you read, well read. So what you mean by the, this introduction means that you have, you can have many ideas, you can have many concepts. At the end of the day, it's you guys have to decide. Well, this idea might be applied to you. Say, for example, you know, sorry, girls, I'm so sorry. I'm no racist here or no sexist. Huh? You know, in the past 100 years ago, your parents were, were say like, you know, uh, uh, um, this uh, arranged marriage. So the idea is that you have to marry to this of um, this family. Um, you have to do this, and their belief is that uh, girls should not go to school. Okay, uh, because you go out, you are not go out. That kind of sorry, that kind of stupid concept. All right, then they say uh, uh girls are useless, no good. Uh, what kind of concept is that? Uh? 
that kind of ideology, right? You see, right? Thank God that uh, you're born in this era, right? Sana and Tsuye, right? And in fact, now the, the woman's power is so strong. You see, uh, they really got no brainers so the last time. I cannot take it. If I can go back to the time machine, I really want to do it back then. You see, uh, without Ye Fei, uh, without the mother, Kong Zi, Men Zi, Sun Zi, without the mother who brought them out, today they wouldn't be a famous people, right? Will come up a lot of ideas, right? You agree, right? So this ideologies is like people decide to make it, okay, this is it. Woman cannot go to school. Remember the Malala? The one in Pakistan, you know, this lady Malala was being shot by Taliban, right? Uh, okay, you go and type, you go and Google it. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, are going for, know, know. you know, uh, the, uh, the set three textbook will have in social study. This poor Malala will have to go to school and then he was being shot by the Taliban just because girl cannot go to school. She so cannot take it, no. This kind of concept. And you know who is Song Chi Ling? Then she made a speech at the Nobel the Prize. Point. Yes, yes, yes. You see, and then this Song Chi Ling, uh, was the, the, the wife of uh, Sun Zhong San, right? The modern child. Okay, without her, you see what will happen, right? Okay, another one, the very famous one is Hua Mulan. You know who is Hua Mulan, right? Yeah, you realize all these concepts eventually it takes so many hundred years until today. Uh, you know, in Saudi Arabia, okay, you know the girls cannot eat with their husband and their, their son in the same, on the dining room, unless they change. The girls and the mother and the grandmother have to eat in the kitchen. Whereas the husband, the guys, is eat in the dining room. And if the girl were to drive a car on the street, on the road, of course, Fei Hua, you must be accompanied by a meal. No? If not, the girl will get fined or the meal will get, get jail or something like that. By a what? Yeah, yeah. If let's say, for example... No, I didn't catch it by a, by a bill? No, no. For example, if a girl, if a lady in Saudi Arabia were to drive on the road, Without the accompany with a meal, oh. a man, uh, with a meal, he will be fined and jailed. I'm not sure you can Google now whether they allow this. No? Seriously, it's quite a bit ridiculous, right? But because they say it's uh, religious or this, and then you realize the girls have to cover their whole face. You remember the Darth Vader sister? I always have this. Uh, it's very sensitive issue. Okay. But I was not going to bring on on that because I find that the girls, who, the ladies who cover the whole face, usually they are staying in the those uh, deserts like Sahara Desert. It's in the in the desert. That's why they cover their face and things like that. But some of them say these are religions. So this one I don't want to bring it. To me, I feel it is like a very depriving of the woman's rights. So this ideology is uh, you say well, when people make decisions, uh, it affect a lot of people. So the introduction tells you that. You see, you must have a solution whether you are uh, uh, acceptable or not. Um, seriously, it's just like, uh, uh, who are? Uh, Yang Chen. Let's say if you have a daughter, would you just let your daughter to study and do poly? That's it. Then you say, no, you don't need to go to university. Let TT go to university or let Coco go to university. Will you do that? No, uh, you do that, I'll slap you, man. <laughs> no, just kidding, uh, Yang Chen. All right. So, uh, Alex, will you do that? Ping Shen, will you do that? If your daughter say no, that's all. Poly, enough already, you don't go to university. And your, your daughter can go to um, um, university. There was this book, uh, Sin to the Dawn. I'm not sure you have this book. Right, Sin to the Dawn, right? The, the, the yeah, the, 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 the daughter can go to university, but end up the brother went to the university. Ah, no. No, the daughter went. The daughter went uh, at the end? The daughter went. No, initially cannot, right? You want to give to the brother, right? Uh, initially, the dad is going to kill. Her. Yes, correct. You see? What kind of concept is this, man? So that oh, I, I cannot. Mom, mom made fish ball for the dad. For the I cannot accept this kind of stupid concept. I, mean, I say this really a stupid concept. Seriously. Really, no. You see, during World War II, uh, all the guys went to war. I mean, like, like, it was, it was based on, like, like, they were in the... Like they were like a, a country, right? Yeah, usually, correct. Right. Mm. All right, let's go. Uh, Mingyi, second paragraph, please. Thank you, sir. So what is ideology? Based on composite of about 10 different definitions that I could find, ideology can best be described in one sentence as a set of opinion, beliefs, theories, or principles, usually political or religious in nature, held by an individual group 
or society that explains and lends. Well, how do you pronounce that word? Lends a legitimacy. Lends a legitimacy. Legitimacy. Uh, legitimacy or the one the uh, usually political or religious in nature held by an individual group or society that explain and lends legitimacy to their actions in their own mind. Exactly. It's so sad. Once the person makes the decision, he changes our ideas. So ladies and gentlemen, next year is a very critical, a crucial and essential year that any information you make Wrongly, that's the end of it. All right. Pinshan, you're so tired, man. My lesson. Pinshan. <laughs> I think it, it dozed off already. Are you okay, Pinshan? Maybe it's picking up something. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's like, <gasps> it was your only... <laughs> you still got soccer? Ah? The CCA? Ah? No. Okay. Oh, it was it was on Tuesday anyway. I see. Okay. So you realize that this paragraph tells you that it's about people beliefs. Okay. That is like myth, whether is it a fact or true or real or not. That you know why certain people can do this, certain people cannot do that. It's just like a, a ideology between a communism and the capitalists. Okay. Are, are they doing well? Are they doing which one is do you think is good during the World War II and World War One? Because they want to get rid of imperialism. Back to you, Hao Xian, paragraph three, please. Thank you, sir. However, however, ideology is much more complicated than this. An ideology has nothing to do with intelligence. It is more like a set of glasses through which we view the world. And being non ideological is yes. somewhat different than being. Pragmatic, which means dealing with issues practically or realistically. Although some amount of pragmatism certainly goes into making good decisions. Thank you. So you see, from this paragraph, it tells you sometimes it's good to be, uh, ideas are good to help to, to get rid of the old ideas. Just like, for example, in the national service, I think some of you who are going to national service in a few years' time, you know, now it's really very, if you watch our boys to men, you will understand the last time when we served national service and now it's totally different. We do all stupid things like carry the whole bloody cupboard from the second floor down to the ground floor. Ah, run slowly. Ah, ah, my grandmother can run better than you. Then you Wait, say, yeah, isn't that run, useful run. in your life? Sorry? Like carrying the cupboard from, from the second floor to the ground floor. Uh -huh, why? It's useful in real life. Yes, it's true. I'm telling you right to your face, sir. sir. It is really very true. And it's really true. Uh, Sometimes uh, some of my class, my classmates, some of my platoon mates, uh, okay, they are so nerd, uh, just like Alex and Inter like that. Uh, okay, and you are uh, young. Seriously, I'm telling you, they are, they, they are, the do thing, they are so nerds and so followed by me. Sometimes you're so slow, then you know what happened? The officer say, go and kiss the tree. Seriously, go and kiss the tree. Now you can tell the recruit, go and kiss the tree. You kiss and show me how you kiss that I kiss her. Uh, uh, you do that now, okay. Last time you do that, good luck to you, man, I tell you. And seriously, all those uh, instructors last time are all from SAF boys, meaning they drop out from school. Okay, they drop out from school, they sign out in the army, but they are physically, they are damn solid. They are, they are 2.4. They are 2.4 and they are chin out, they are pull up. Okay, go ahead, no, Alex, go ahead. They are chin out, everything is solid. The pull up is 10 and that kind of thing. They run, their SOC is very strong. So, you see, the ideologies of the National Service last time they're training, is it supposed to train like that? They literally bring the cupboard down, I'm serious. They can do false mark. Okay, you can tell you more like Siao, man. Okay, and then they will say, oh, no, 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 no yeah, it's true. I'm telling you, those showing what Jack knew is very true. When we watch it, we're going to laugh our way out, seriously. Especially if you go to the wrong vocations, uh, well, I tell you, it's super tough. They'll call it the Hokkien thing. Okay, literally, uh, when you talk to them in English, uh, sir, sir, look on me, what you talk, uh, I know, understand. 
你讲华语可以吗？所以呢 ，in the army here is all about multiracial and inter because Malay and Chinese and Indian. Ah,、uh, so when you go to like during the eighties, majority of all of them are like gangsterism. Really got tattoo and things like that, and then they got this smoking gang and all these kind of things. So you see that, but now slowly, when Singapore start to like your generation already, you see it's all more educated really. They do that kind of punishment now is different. Now. Don't worry, we do push up. Ah,、uh. it's not like twenty then you get out. That's no no such thing. One, you can do twenty push up then you change to sit up, sit up then you change to start jump, start jump then do what baby jump, baby jump then do start to see what I tell you. By the time you go back to your bunk, ah,、uh, you really shake out really. Seriously, literally check out, but really train us to be a real soldier. Trust me, okay. But you see, the ideology, the way we train now is totally different. Now is to training about intelligence. That time we got intelligence one. It doesn't make sense. Seriously, bring the whole cover down and bring out. Then we change parade from from a, a smart number four、uh, army uniform to PT kit, PT kit, then change back and then carry the full back order. We call the bra, B R A, the bra. When you put your water bottle, your your magazine, you know the bullets are the putting bullet up and down. No,、so, doesn't make sense. But this is how we were trained, and especially when you're trained by the ranger and the commandos, good luck to you, man. I tell you, you will, you will really check out. There are still people who commit suicide. Seriously, when I say commit suicide, they really kill themselves. They go crazy. They go I M H. Okay, but this part of life. Okay. So you have to take it. Now you get an idea. You have to take it. Some some people they they set up this type of thing, so it doesn't make sense. So along the way they start to change. Just like in the in um uh who ah um Bing Shen, you see you're in Hua Chong, right? Right. So some of you are in the school. Do you know last time if you don't hand in your homework, the teacher will take a ruler and, and hit your hand or pull your hair or slap you. Do you think Bing Shen? If example, example, okay, you you really forgot that day. You forget to bring your homework, and your teacher was to slap your head and hit your hand. Were you allowed to do that, my teacher? Oh, okay. You allow ah? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. Oh. Alex, will you do that? Will you be allowed by your teacher to do that to you? Um, Even the girls also, no, my my generation, the girls also like that, no. Don't you hesitate, like Alex? Did she? Were you allowed your teacher to do that? No, right? Imagine your hair too long, ah,、uh, they cut your hair, no. Seriously, my generation, they really quite cut the hair, no. Oh my goodness, seriously, quite cut the hair. Oh, no way, man. Seriously, right? Chen Nan, were you allowed your teacher to hit your hand? No how so you say not so like sure、oh, I got hit by a book by a teacher you know <laughs> and、uh, the story is like this right she was she was mad at she was mad at the student and she and she chew her chew him out right、mm. and then right she got she she got so mad right she 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 took a workbook and threw it at at him at him but accidentally hit you lah that is not not your fault ma. Right, so she apologized. Like, she, she apologized to you, right? Right, Nanny. Did, did she apologize to you? Yeah, she just said. Sorry. Of, was... No, my school pref- got got really got caning. No, really got caning there. When I say caning, means really cane or cane cane your back backside. No. Mingxue, Mingyu, were you allowed that? That the teacher will cane you. Wait, I mean, there's still caning in school. Ah, there's still caning in school. There's still caning in school, but they always say, uh, right, uh, spare uh, the rod, spoil the, the child. Very major offense, lah. Then they will cane. Yeah, of course, like vulgarity or no fighting, ah,、uh, things like that. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I know it sounds into ridiculous, right, for this generation. But you see, spoil, spoil, spare the rod, spoil the child. How?、Oh. And、because you are from this school's concept, not your idea. See, but there are still some school, some neighborhood school, they still practice this kind of caning. Does it make sense or not? Why are you so happy, Ah Hao Xian? You you love caning, Ah? Slap on wound. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next paragraph. So, Ah,、uh, back to you, Ah,、uh, Chen Nan.
that is? There, there is a problem when people who are inclined to strong extreme ideological. No, 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 here, here. There is, there is still much debate. Sorry. There is still much debate about some important aspect of ideology, especially extreme ideology. What caused ideological thinking? Do people have extreme ideological views even realize that they are this way? Can you be truly ideological ne neutral? There appear to be no clear answers to these questions. Everyone no doubt has some degree of ideological thinking when it comes to how they view the world. When, they, when you look at the society as a whole, you likely have some sort of distribution curve with people in the middle of being the most ideological nature of natural. Yeah, ideologically natural. So just now when we talk about caning in school, talk and talk about the, uh, the way the armies in the past, they treat the soldiers, the recruit, and, and, and how the parents uh, take your cane and whack us when we were young, or even the teacher will throw the student out of the classroom, which I hate that. Man. I don't like students being thrown out of the classroom just because they forget to do this or never pay attention. You agree now, Inza? Sometimes it's not the student fault. Man. Sometimes it's the teacher fault because, you know, got one time, uh, very cute, I was doing discipline. So this student was being thrown out of the classroom. I say, ah, then I did say, like, you see, so, so Mr. Shang, Mr. Shang, no, no, no. I throw out because I volunteered to come out. So, huh? say why? So, so the lesson very boring. <laughs> I rather stand outside. Oh my gosh, you know, in the that kind of answer was like, how? Oh. So I just want to make sure that I ask around after when the teacher read, were left with me. So, well, class, he said, yeah, sir, the lesson so boring. So you always say, you know, huh? It is a, you know, huh? So every sentence you say, you know, huh? You know, huh? Yeah, we didn't know already. Uh, you know, this, this, this statement is uh, uh, Sir Stanford Raffles found Singapore. Uh, uh, you know, uh, that Sir Stanford Raffles found Singapore because he wanted to find a port. Uh, you know, uh, oh, can you imagine, you know, you know, they keep repeating like that. So sometimes it's the habit of the teachers. So do you think it's supposed to change the habit of talking as well as the behavior? Yes, right, is that correct? Uh? Uh, I got this friend always say, over down here, over down here. Yes, sir, I am an eight. Uh, you small tan. No, uh, never mind. Yeah, why? Nothing. <laughs> so sometime, I think your these generations are going to have this paradigm shift, transformations into a different world. How are we going to as accept this kind of ideologies of not having to be cane, get out, uh, send out of the school? You know, last time, uh, my generation is that if you don't study well, you create problem, straight away you'll be expelled from school already. Okay, totally don't have a chance to study in school. So what happened? All these kids will become so-called like what you say, turned into bad AIDS. It becomes cancer reserve, you, you do bad things, no? you did not receive education. But now do you know these ideas have changed and they now they make it compulsory that you must have 10 years of education, like it or not. Okay, all right, I will DM you also, thanks. Okay, <clears throat> back to you, E.T. There's a problem when people who are inclined to strong or extreme ideological thinking get involved in the decision-making process. In order to come up with the best solution to the problem at hand, you have to use facts, data, and non in ideological logic to solve the root cause of an individual problem. You have to be open-minded to all of the potential solutions, adopt university study linked po political extremism to believe superiority in which people believe that their viewpoints are better than those of others. Thank you, a good university study. Yeah? So this is what it means that, like, uh, I, I, I would say there is always a problem that people's ideas are over the other one. Just like last time, okay, uh, I, I got students say, my, my parents say, study uh, history is no good, you should study geography or literature, or study bio is no good, or study like, you know, in, in the 70s, 80s, if you become an artist, a painter, 
a sculpture, you know, 没有前途, uh, or you become a musician, it's just like, oh, because you cannot study, that's why you drop out and become. Now you see, we got this Zhongguo Hao Sening and all these other things that, you know, it brought up uh, the, the, the new opportunities. So I quite disagree what Ming Yi has said. In nature, there is no punishment, but there is consequences. Uh, I would quite disagree with this statement because there is still need some punishment. Uh, whether the punishment is capital punishment. Bing Shen, you know what is capital punishment? Oh, sentencing. Yeah, what kind of sentencing? Oh, death sentence. Absolutely. Well done. Thank you, sir. So capital punishments, like for example, okay, what kind of consequences? If you bring drugs, you know, recently got this, uh, this Indian guy was saying that his IQ was below 670, 69, intellectually uh, unsound. So on the 20th or 11th of November this month, he's going to sentence to death. So there are about 40,000 or 4,000 uh, petition to say that please do not hang him. Saying that he was not, the IQ was very low and he didn't know what he's doing. So uh, the government said that it's tested. Um, they are sorry. To me, uh, I really totally abhor that people's doing drugs. Three things I hate most in the biggest crime is, one is drug. Second one is uh, murder. The third one is rapist. Okay, these three crimes that I cannot accept it. Okay, I think rapists should put into death sentence as well. If you put me, especially look at India, some of the rapists, they say, Xiao Yao Fa Wai go on scot free and then do crimes. And back in the US also, the kind of things. Um, well, I will find, yes, two different ideologies corrupt things together form an argument true, just like, like capitalists in US, you know, whether is it good or not. Initially, capitalists will allow privatizations. So all this we have to learn our children, especially our uh, inter, because Merchant of Venice also talk about different ideologies. Trust me. Why Bersanio, Antonio, okay, and Shylock and Porsche are uh, different things, just like Romeo and Juliet. Why Romeo's fathers and him and Juliet's parents are against that kind of marriage or that kind of things. And why they finally die because of due to different ideologies. Or during that time, that kind of society will not be able to accept this kind of uh, marriage or this kind of relationship. So you see, it's, it's not about intelligence, it's about stability, it's about people's ideas more superior than others. So next year, children, I urge that uh, if your parents were to suggest you that, okay, uh, for example, Ichi, your mom say, okay, don't take this call, this course, but if you have a very strong interest in AMF, okay, and, and whatever reason, for example, your mom said, oh, don't, then please prove to them that you're right, but do not argue. Prove your ideologies and that. And for example, turn on, let's say you don't like AMAX, okay? And but you need to take AMAX. I know IP student must take AMAX. I'm so sorry. I really sometimes quite disagree with this kind of MOE system. All right. Some people might not be good in math, but be good in others. But why must it be math that makes a good student? I cannot, I until today, I, I cannot accept it. Why? All right. Doesn't mean because I don't like math, I will just get people don't like. No, no. I think you should let you guys to boom according to your natures of belief and intellectual uh, intelligence. So for example, learning, if you like programming uh, and then your parents talk you up, uh, prove to them, I mean, just example, uh, prove to them that you can and you must let your, your, your intelligence flourish in this Python programming, okay? It's not many you people- know, hmm. I, I, really, I, I really proved myself, you know how? Hmm. I did my mom's job. You did your mom what? Mom's job. Your mommy's job, huh? <laughs> well, actually not exactly, cause cause I'm helping her doing the data collection from websites. Wow. So that she can do her job much more better. Awesome. So I got know, something, I got a story to share with my other student really. Well done. Well done, well done. Good. So you see, so you prove yourself that it, that is how it works. And I agree with you, I mean, what you say is defined by only how the convenience of your meaningful experience. But not true, it's for everybody at I mean, right? For example, you say, if you say Mao Zedong, because of Mao Zedong, because of change the China into communism. But now do you realize on the 20, this 21st century now, China is not really a communist as per se. If you're really speaking, real, really speaking, strictly speaking about communism, 
I don't think they were allowed to have Alibaba, Taobao, and groups, or, or even we have the kind of bullet trains or all these kind of uh, high tech, or even Lamborghini or Ferrari in, in, in China's market. In my opinion, we need to, they say we need to change and modify. That's the next paragraph later, you know what I meant, okay? Back to you, Yang Chen. But it's a good one, I mean, thank you. Yang Chen, you learn? You learn as an engineer. Yeah, that if something is designed wrong, it will not work. No matter how good it looks or how much people seem to like it. If a bridge is designed wrong, it will collapse. You can talk something into working if it does not uh, If it doesn't with, align with the law. Align with the law of science, in other words, you can fool Mother Nature. Thank you. So what you meant here is that even though you force people to accept your ideas or your ideologies, you force people to accept your policy, like say the government. So in the 80s, when Mr. Lee Kuan Yew in, uh, introduced CPF, Kung Chi Sing, okay, Central Provision Fund, you were going to lend this for set three onwards. People say, uh, CPF. Now, I got not enough to eat and you still have this. Now, you know, after 20, 30 years later, they find that CPA is so useful. You can do a lot of wonders for this money. So sometimes you take a while to accept that ideology. So children like, like learning, they say, well done. You, it doesn't take a long time for your parents to realize your potential. Okay? Like just, how Shen, it's just like, you don't need to take so long that, you know, when I talk to you about badminton, you can tell me all these things, you see. Does it make you a lousy person? Wow, well, I only know badminton, do not other things. But you already have an age on, with other people. So who knows? Next time when you graduated and you become a young adult, you might start a business about badminton. You might create a technology to do something related with badminton. So people may not think about it. No ideas is a stupid ideas. It's only that you are stupid, you don't create many ideas. Okay, it's up to you. The future lies in your hands. So it's not like, you know, I, do you know um, this, uh, you know, uh, hurricane, right? And tornado, right? You know how it works, right? You turn around, right? In the right I always wondering, uh, how can I break away the tornado and hurricane? You know, you know, because that one really is a very big natural disaster. I always like to think of how can I break away this hurricane and natural disaster? But because it's a nature, right? Correct now. Right, right. This is a nature. Can we go against nature and break away the hurricane and, and tornado? Because hurricane and tornado kills a lot of people and destroy a lot of property, right? And innocent life are lost. Can I design a scientist? Can I design something to do that? Just like earthquake. All right. Can, can we stop earthquake? Is it a, a good idea? Is it against sometimes Ren Suan Puru Ken Suan, right? So right, I like you agree, right? So if I can design like a tsunami, for example. Can I stop tsunami? Can I design a, 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 a my idea is to really stop tsunami like, like, like preventing the, the big flood, a 30 meter wave, you know, to destroy the 30 meter waves and or maybe reduce from 30 meter to 3 meter. It's very good already. Can we do that now? Just like now everyone's uh, worried about the COVID, COVID, COVID. Is there a vaccine or is there a cure? Why can't people think of how to cure poverty? How to cure, uh, the, uh, how to get rid of uh, properties and, and increase the educated people. So the more educated people is maybe we will not have COVID. And why everyone, uh, that my mom that day was asking, was telling me, why everyone's still blaming China for this COVID-19? Just because the COVID-19 was from Wuhan. So my son was saying, yeah, it's just like, remember the Spanish flu? If you heard of the Spanish flu, right? Uh, it's from Europe. So you see, there's always a cycle. So it doesn't mean what you do might tease everybody. So this ideology is very important. You must be a very sound, resilient, and you must be professional enough to project what you want to do. So yeah, your turn please. So can people. I, I think the reason why they are not um, asking for like, like things that actually need change mm. uh, is because like, um, they're not actually in the state. Like if you're in a state of poverty, you want it. But like if you're in, you want like change for like the 
Trimmer the poor. But like, if you are in danger, all of us are in danger of COVID. So like people will prioritize themselves over others. So like they care about what they have, what problems they are facing. So that's why they prioritize like like the searching of a COVID vaccine. Nothing wrong. So like actual problems. It's just like in the aeroplane, you know, usually when the oxygen mask come down, you put for, or for yourself first, then you put for your son, your daughter, that kind of stuff, right? It's nothing wrong, you prioritize, you take care, what is the immediate, the, uh, uh, the, the, the high risk, the, the dangerous level that you take care of. It. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. What I mean is that, why must we put all the resources down to COVID-19? It's already coming two years already. And some country in Europe now, you see, they don't even put masks, okay? Just like two days ago, my uncle from New Zealand WhatsApp me. He said, hi, Raymond, how is Singapore? I heard the cases are a lot, 3,000, 4,000. You know how I replied to him? I said, I get sick and tired of this figure already. He said, why? 3,000 people, no. I say unless it's 3,000 deaths, every day a few thousand deaths, then I'll get paranoid. Then I'll get be very pessimistic. Then I'll get very worried. Just like India last few months ago, when you got thousands of cases, okay, die, death. Then I'm more worried. But these are the cases that got COVID, like asymptomatic, or maybe it's a mild. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know there's every day there's a few five, seven, ten cases of death. But it becomes like I even ask around and people say I'm numb to this number really. I just let my life continue. So if you say a few thousand cases every day, why are we opening up and we have people eating in the restaurant, in the hawker centers, and life still carry on the same? Why not we go back to like last year? back to uh, circuit breaker and everyone stay at home. And it happened to New Zealand now, you see. My uncle is now in the lockdown in New Zealand. A certain part of New Zealand, they are opening up. So you see, different ways of handling things. Is it important? So again, it's all about your mindset, Alex. I agree with you. And I agree with Mingyi, it's true. It's about sometimes, uh, you know, it all depends, serious. This topic is so very high level of, you need a very, very detailed thinking. If you cannot think well, you're going to screw up your whole entire of your setting. Trust me, okay? So, uh, so yeah, are you ready? So, can people who have extreme ideologies be convinced to change their ways of thinking? Apparently, it's not easy to do, at least in a short run. And interestingly enough, research indicates that this, that there is a thing called a backfire effect in which the act of trying to convince someone with established beliefs to change their mind will, event, will actually cause the belief in their own theory to get stronger. It is critical to keep an open mind in doing any problem solving and just as important to consider alternate evil points. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. However, people who cannot objectively look like look at things should not make critical decisions related to that issue. Decisions must be based on facts, data, and non-ideological logic to solve the root cause of the issue at hand. While Zia so is reading this, suddenly it popped up my mind recently about your cycle. Do you cycle on the road? You know, recently cyclists uh, on the road, they will get fined if you have more than five people cycling on the road. Okay, as I told you recently, I was driving, got this great guys, cyclists, I, I give way to him and yet halfway through he still point finger at me, then he fell down, but I did not curse and swear him fell down and then one get knocked down by the car. What I mean is that um, the, the government recently come out the ideas of saying that if you got five people, you're from $75, you, pay, uh, you have to find $150. And then I, I realized the cyclist should not be cycling, cycling on the road, more on the PN, PCN network, you know, pedestrian cyclist network. But recently, like just now, when I was up with my friends, got this Amor, you know, in Taiwan, you know it's Amor, right? Uh, yes. Why? Yeah. So he was cycling. I say, yes, um, I say, usually, uh, if you were to haunt the Amor, I may be wrong. Uh, I'm not racist here. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Okay. But when you haunt them, they were like not happy. They was like point, not point finger. They will show you, like, hey, why are you haunting me? Like, that kind of things. So my friend told me, uh, usually uh, these uh, more people will do that. Because back then in Europe, when they cycle on the roads, the driver from the car and the vehicles will give way to the cyclists. But back here in Singapore, is hey, hello, please, 
I haunt you doesn't mean I want to, to knock you down or, 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 or make you worry. I haunt you is that be careful, I'm behind you. Cycle, cycle carefully, okay? But things like that. So you see different, that, like, while Zhiyue was reading, you see, it's not about bad fire effect. Does it really affect by this root law saying that the cycling five person, is there any, why must be five? You mean last time got people, 10 people cycling on the road or two person? You know, accident can happen even one cyclist on the road. But because of this rule comes up, we just want to protect the cyclist. Will it be backfire by this kind of ideology that the, the traffic police uh, come out this law and, uh, and rules? Right? So that day I was doing my policing duty. So I was talking to one of my colleagues and say that um, why the cyclists now are getting really, uh, well, because of now COVID, right? People cannot go out. So cycling is a good form of exercise. I love to cycle when I was young. But I just realized that sometimes it's not the cyclist's fault, it's the driver's fault that really when they drive while well, horrendous, especially those young people who just got their license 20 plus uh, or their first car, well, they thought they are driving what, F1 on the road. No, but unfortunately it's not this, not, not the way like that, okay? So yes, Hitler, uh, Eric said Hitler ain't even got two boss. <laughs> Eric, you are right, huh? okay? I don't know how you get the information, but you are right to say that, okay? So sometimes when we make decisions, we must be able to understand that um, why this kind of ideologies might impact certain people. You might not be happy that certain people will accept this ideology. Okay, so what is an ideology? Alex, Alex, you read already, no? Okay, come. What is ideology? An ideology is a set of conscious and unconscious ideas that constitute one's goals, expectations, and actions. Thank you. But wait, uh, okay, one by one, I explain. Uh, don't mind, uh, I finish, then you continue, uh, Alex. Okay, thanks. So, what Alex read just now is about one goals and expectation. You see, like the one in the last, last time by national service, like student, like principal, you know, if you watch the Xiao Hai Pupa, you know, uh, they got Kenny in front of the, in the hall, okay, and things like that. Does it make sense or does it really good? Or? Is it is it the right way, the right conscious to do things? Um uh, what I say, um, is it the right things like for the cyclists to cycle on the road and get fine because they have more than five people? Is there anything wrong? I mean, they are are they abiding the law, or is it because you want to have a heavy fine so that they will cycle properly? Or what kind? Yeah, it's true. Is it only for the cyclists? How about the motorists? The people who do a motor, not the, the car. But then again, it also can be lorry. Okay, we're taking care of the, the, the workers. Did they put the workers to sit down properly and things like that? So here we are talking about ideologies, children. Take note, huh? it's all about your mindset. It's how you're going to motivate people. Then your idea is acceptable. Then your idea is workable. Then your idea will be received with open arms saying that, okay, well done. I like your ideas. This will be applicable. For, my, for not just for me, but for overall. Okay, it's just like children. Whose idea was it, uh, Ichi, that your parents put you in this school? So when you are in primary one or in okay, PSLE, right? All right? Last year is your PSLE, uh, Ichi, right? So when your result is coming out these few weeks, right? Correct now, uh, usually in November, how Ichi. So you have the choice to choose six school, right? Correct me, right? It's still the same, right? Uh, six school, right? So did you choose, is it, was it your idea or your parents say, no, Ichi, I want this school, A, B, C, A, D, S, Y, uh, or is it your idea, Ichi? Mix, like it was my idea and my parents' idea. Well done. So it's very uh, democracy, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Uh, very good. Then after that, oh, result two right now. Yay! Ichi pass, oh, and how? Then, that post in that school, right? Sometimes it can be your first choice, your second choice, right? Do you appeal and say, I don't want to go this choice? Eh? But then your mommy say, hey, but girl, this is your choice, ma. why don't you go? Then you, I'm just an example here. Yeah? Because I always got this problem when I come to pieces my student. Because my friend go to this school, so I want to follow. Uh, I say, because this school, I don't know, have friend there, uh, things like that. See? It's the expectation and action of you. So, you see, do you like the school now? I know this is recording. Uh. <laughs> don't worry. Okay. So far, you're okay yeah. with this school? What school are you from? I'm sorry. Jurong Secondary School. Do you think Jurong Secondary School is a good school? Yes. Why? 
because I have good friends, teachers, and classmates. I, I, I think I'm happy there. Right. I like the way you say, I think. You didn't say, uh, maybe I think. Ah, good. So you're very firm in your expectation already. Your action speaks louder than, what is the next thing to say? You see? Action speak louder than, what is the last? What? Thank you. Well done. You see? So your results speak volumes. You see? So your ideology is, uh, so will you encourage those people who come to Jurong Secondary School? You know, they've got open house, right? You're not using maybe I think, but you're still using I think. Maybe it's no good. I think, I believe will be much stronger. But do you know now we got this school called E Open House? Very stupid. No, I, I don't, don't know. use I believe. Just, just say huh? It. Sorry? Just say it. Don't, don't use I believe. Just say it's a good school. Just say what? Just say it's a good school. Don't, don't say I believe. It will sound more. So what, what must you say? Sorry, I really can't hear you. But instead of I think it's a good school, say it is a good school. It's a good thing, huh? I think it's it. Sound more confident. More convincing, okay? Right. So, come back to this. Uh, if, he, if let's say now got open house, no COVID, uh, will you want to encourage those premises to come to Jurong Secondary School? I think it depends on the results. Are uh, you saying you're another typical Singaporean again? I think that. <laughs> result again. Everything must result, man. Wow, no, right? You must see. You now you represent Jurong Secondary School already. It's nothing to do with result already. Seriously. Okay? Because you see, uh, some people from NT, uh, your school are NT student, right? It's it. Uh, so the NT student also can become a university student. Right? Everyone's, every child is unique. Okay? Every child is very, have their own way of perceptions. Okay? But it's definitely important. Education is an invisible weapon, a tool. Thank you, Isi, for your sharing. Back to you again, Alex, number two. Uh, it basically speculates about how the things ought to be in the society or surrounding world. So, sadly to say, uh, it basically speculates. Uh, not 100%. So next year, when you're doing any comprehensions, you guys will be different. Eh? Later, I'll explain to you. Uh, some comprehensions are... Uh, require you to really think deeper. Hey, are you sure it's like that, like that? So your set one comprehension is a very simple one now. Okay, but set two will be more profound. Then set three will be even more mature. So just how Yin Zhe will say, uh, what you mean by a uh, more profound, more deeper understanding with you. Okay, why is this, the knowledge must be there in deeper understanding? Why do you think the author say this? Set one is uh, uh, what the author say. Now is why. More deeper, okay? Get it, huh? Thank you, number three, please. Inside your TT switch, Oh. Ideologies. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, systems of abstract thought apply to public matters and thus make this concept central to politics. Yeah, sometimes because of this, uh, people start to change. I remember recently I shared with my P4 student this year who are now primary three just promoted. They say Xi Jinping Ye Ye has already started to change the whole entire education to show the, the younger generation in China students to be more patriotic. To show them more patriotism and to show that you love China, which is nothing wrong. No? To inculcate, to nurture, and to develop the mindset of the younger ones to more ai guo qing shen, which is nothing wrong. No? Okay? And to change it to, to like, some, some of my students say brainwashing. Huh? Not really. It's just like in Singapore, we also want to build up to a strong sense of patriotism for Singapore. Nothing wrong. It's just like you love your family, you love your surname. You want to build your next generation even stronger than you. Alex, I will never forget what you say. I think confirm uh, when you come, Alex, to you, uh, you may not want to be a teacher. You may be want to be somebody else. Who knows? All right, nothing wrong. That's your idea, right? Doesn't mean your 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 great great grandfather is teacher, your grandfather is teacher, your parents are teacher. You must be a teacher. You can be a doctor. A doctor also can be someone who teach another doctor. Correct? Or? You can be an architect. Also teach someone. So, being a professional, you are teaching somebody. And in the, I remember that day you showed me your little brother, right? You see, 
It's about your ideology or how you're going to bring out your little brother. True not, Yinzhe? So when your brother goes older, you can say, uh, I will take you to smoke. I will take you to drink. I will kill you. Correct not, Yinzhe? But if you know your brother is doing something wrong, you start to come in, you bring your ideology. Remember? Okay? Do you hear me say, but Koko, I see my, my friend did this. How come I cannot? Then you'll tell him, okay, because your friend did not know the consequences. Remember, Mingyi was talking about the consequences. But you know, you're not going to put your, your younger brother in a quicksand. Thank you, Alex. Next one. Uh, an ideology consists of a set of ideas and beliefs through which we perceive the outside world and act upon the, our information. Have you heard of this? You are the frog in the well. You need to get out of the frog in the well. So um, I was I was out today with my friends. I asked him, I said, how's my goddaughter doing? That is her daughter. I say, uh, yeah, daddy, you got less friends, I got more friends. Then my friend was saying that, but my your friend are uh, are your friend more experienced than daddy's friend or not? So uh, no, maybe we are yes, but because in terms of technology, all these things, we are better than you. So my friend answered her saying that you are, the, you are like a frog in the well. You are running around in your shit. Because frog in the well, you are shitting in the well, but right now, you did not get out of the well and you're still having running the shit. So I find this kind of um, analogy is very interesting. No? You must really get out. Of, that's why they always say think out of the box. Like for example, the trace together, the vaccination, the booster vaccination. And now I heard that below 12 years old, you can get vaccinated. And you know that Singapore is going to slowly open up the ideas of uh, able to live with it with COVID-19. It's like become part and parcel of flu. Like I agree with you, uh, Alex, you're talking about prioritizing now. Okay, who to go for, what to do. It's all about different set of ideologies and what Mingyi is mentioned. Sometimes people, you see, why there's two, I heard there are recently called this church lady, right? Who go and take some medicine and end up she, she was having coma and, and, and hospitalized by listening to some what medicine. Is it medicine? What medicine? There's a lot of medicine. I don't know what she took, what kind of medicines or what kind of vitamins that the church friend told her, don't go for a vaccination, take this medicine. And some even use religion to say that you're not supposed to take these vaccinations. It's against God's will or all these things. I'll say I'm not sure, I may be wrong. Okay, so this is Tao And then some people be like, you know what? Let, 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 let Jesus baptize me. He will give me the he will give me the vaccination. Ah, even some in the in other religions also say that God will, will protect, you know, if you will die, you will die one. Let it be. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean it's nothing wrong. If you strongly believe in your God and you believe you have a strong faith that your God will protect you, okay, fine. Then it's you, right? But please don't influence other dogs to vaccinate them. Ah, correct now. Right, in turn, correct now. If you don't believe in vaccination, then just keep to yourself. But if people believe, then leave it correct now. Right? So, for example, if people, uh, your friend said, I want to eat wantan mein. But you don't feel like eating wantan mein. You want to eat prata, right? Nothing wrong. Then you say, eat prata after you eat already lao sai. You diarrhea. Huh? <laughs> just because your friend don't like curry. You like to eat curry with butter, doesn't mean it's correct. Now. So it's a different ideology, right? True enough. So today's ideology. So I want you to do a simple 50 words. Okay, please actually no homework one. For the next two weeks, not supposed to have homework. That is my policy. Yeah. No homework. But this one I just put there. If you want to do, just write what is your belief in ideology? What you think about ideology in 50 words? Or okay, maybe no, no, sorry, sorry, 80 words. A summary of 80 words. Okay. You want to do, do. You don't want to do, it's fine with me. You do already, you put in the Google Classroom, I mark, I return back to you. Okay. So let's go back to this one here. Express student, take note of this. Okay. All right. So as you know, that you have uh, completed this paper one, two, and three, and four next year. In fact, starting from three weeks' time, the next two weeks, we're not going to talk about this so much. Maybe in, in late November or beginning of December, or then we'll talk about this. So paper one, we know we got to do editing, situation writing, continuous writing as per normal, what we have done this year. And we're going to talk about comprehensions as well. Uh, Alex, okay, uh, we'll bring in some of the IP comprehension passage for y'all to practice also. 
Alex, finally, I got the set two comprehension for you. So uh, all of you, if you don't mind, you'll be doing one of some, sometime will be some. What I mean, me who doesn't have allergy, what is Uncle Raymond talking about? Oh, talking about vaccination. I just saw your message. Sorry, Alex. No, no, so, no, no. The curry thing, the curry thing. The what thing? The curry thing. The curry thing. Oh, the curry. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so um, we are bringing some of the IP comprehension passage. So the refraction, you know, remember, Alex, you said this year I did not cover the other section about what, what is the section called? The English? The refraction, is it? Was it the refractions one? You got a story there, you got to memorize, remember? Then you got to write. It's something like literature, right? Remember? Uh, so I might be throwing this to all of you. And then, uh, of course, the next few weeks, we're going to watch a video, uh, some even a song. Then you got to analyze the things, okay? Then we got to have, um, of course, uh, how to write a good summaries. And then paper three, we're going to talk about listening comprehensions. I don't know how I'm going to do it in, in, in Zoom. I never done it before, to be honest, okay? And then um, we're going to do about oral. I think most of you can read very well. It's just that you need your, your rhythm, all right? So do you also know that English is compulsory to be calculated in your for set four student express? You know you need the EMB3 and then compulsory for uh, poly to, to go to poly L1, R4 and then compulsory for 4N and 5N set four any student EMB3 also. So English and mother tongue and best of three. English and mother tongue, EM stands for English and mother tongue and best of three subjects. So please, this next year is a super important year that you have to decide carefully to choose what kind of subject you want for your coming um, set three. And then once you do it, don't like some of my students, I drop POA, I drop AMAX, I drop pure physics. Please take it into serious considerations, okay? Right? Of course, I mean, some of you might think that after set three, about six months later, you think you cannot, it's not a cup of tea to do Amex. You want to drop. It's your idea. All right. So be careful when you choose. Of course, we have the, for the set four N students, we have this called the Polytechnic Foundation Program, which some of my NA students, when I was teaching in my previous school, they hit very well. Okay. Some of them, when I saw them in their Facebook now, some of them are going for Maxon, some of them going for further study. My nephew is in uh, this program and he's going to, after his, his NS, his, uh, my sister is going to send him to maybe overseas for study. So you see, there is always a path for each and every one of you. You are really very, very lucky that you're born in this era. My generations, I, we only got two polytechnic. That is Nian Poly and Singapore Poly and ITE. Okay. For me, I'm very straightforward. I will go to JC. I'm not interested in poly. Because the poly is all engineering and I hate math. So my all my life is all history and literatures. I'm more in the humanities subjects. So that's my path. Because my aim at that time is I want to be a lawyer. I want to study law. That's all. So in fact, now, can you please kindly think about it? What you want to do for your future? It's not too, say, I'm too early to think about it. You have to start to plan what is your goal and objective, okay? So let's go back to this one. Okay, for the IP student, comprehensions answering techniques. Okay, what I mean by that comprehension answering techniques? I think uh, Alex, uh, maybe once I can tidy out the, the notes, I will put one inside and share with you. The summary writings, tips and techniques and practices and the narrative writings that I told you, uh, expository, discursive, argumentative essay, and then the applications, questions. Uh, this is the one I think we're talking about, like Alex and uh, Bingshan and uh, Zhiye. So um, this uh, current affairs, okay, wait, wait, number five, application questions, question, critical questioning and reflection techniques. Uh, this is the one that you give you a passage, then you have to analyze it. Not easy, yeah? because you really need a lot of the deeper foundations of understanding. Uh, current affairs, locals, and global. That means our children, I urge all of you to start to read newspaper. Seriously, all right? As, as much as you can. Even now it's a school holiday, please read newspaper, all right? Because uh, you guys will be tested on most of the things there, all right? So written assessments are given every week after. Okay, that's for the IP student, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. 
So for set two, you are more even tougher already. Yeah? So these two months, please need to relax, you relax. But my advice is spend one to two hours solidly just to read. If you don't read, good luck to you. You cannot catch up, trust me. It's going to be super solid. You know what, Alex? Today, I spent about 30 minutes to look through Hua Chong International website and Hua Chong Institution's website. Wow, it was really very amazing. And there's comments saying that why I choose HCI over RI. Well, because HCI got this, 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 and RI got this, this, this. There's even a comparison chart between HCI and RI, which is RGC. Yeah? All right, so IP, you need to explore reflective independence, multitasker, and principle. As my student look at them, they have more things to absorb, to adapt, to adopt. You only need just doing this. Okay? You guys, express students are this. But the IP students, uh, sorry, this is for express and any students. I will need a balance for many weeks to come until next year when you finish your set two exam, well, whoever is going to complete with me until next year. So you see, look here, using design thinking. This, oh my God. this will not happen in, correct me, I've been teaching Express, NA, NP, and IP student a bit of IB as well. You know it's IB or Alex? Huh? IB, right? So you see, design thinking has an approach of imaginary programs. So all these are from different IP school, huh? Alex. I won't tell you which IP school I got copy and paste here. Huh? Okay, imaginary programs help students gain deeper understanding of social issue and develop empathy and the design to impact the community positively, which I've been doing for the past few months. Now, as well, students, you might thinking that ah, this is none of my business. I don't care. You are absolutely wrong. Because when you go to set three, set four, you will still have to cover. And some of you might want to go to JC, which is A level. You're going to do this as well because of general paper. They say, ah, sorry. Lah. I'm, not going, I'm not interested in going to JC. I'm going to polytechnic. Sorry again. If you go to polytechnic, depend on what faculty, you still have to involve in this design thinking. Okay? This is... I think one of the best in the MOE that they do all this regardless of which level you come. But to say that the IP and the IB start a bit earlier. Inter, you're also from IP, right? Uh, no, I'm from Express. Okay, so please take note of this one. Huh? Then year one and year two, right? Alex, Bingshen, and Ziyue, and who else here? Uh, Chen are you from IP, right? Yeah, okay. IP, uh, you're from RB, huh? I, I just realized the, the, the IP school that is from a Chinese foundation like RV and Hua Chong. Uh, very good. Because you have that means the, the ability of understanding the appreciation of the Chinese cultures and the, the, the deep rooted of the Chinese heritage that bring out the essence of a good student. Well, if you are talking about ACS, St. Joseph Institution, um, um, RI, they may not have this emphasis. And uh, Cat High, yes, definitely Cat High, yes. So you see uh, IP student. Next year is a very competitive year. If you cannot identify yourself as one of the top 10 or, or top 30 IP student, I'm sorry to say, I've seen people in IP drop off from IP and do express. And why I say sorry, because um, there's nothing sorry about it. But I'm sorry is that you put in so much effort that you, I know this student can do it, but end up, you know, uh, lagging, uh, never mind, uh, I can go by it, sorry. When you go to set three, I tell you, it's a very different ball game, seriously, you see? Set one and two, you're talking about design thinking, apply them in classroom base. Look at set four, working in partnership with Singapore University of Technology. You tell me, this will not happen in the express or any NT. To be honest, IP and IBs are being groomed to become a CEO and the top military people like general or this thing. But that doesn't mean, Inter, we are not interested of the express and any NT. You get me now? They are being doing like, you know, like a, 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 a sport car. Okay, uh, NT got one engine. NA got two engines, Express got three engines. So IP got four engines. 
the IV is not called engine. You know what? It's one very big, freaking big engines, like a, a, a rocket like that. So it's a supersonic fast one. It's like a speed of uh, sound. So they every day nothing but to read and read and, and do research and write and write and write and write. Because they are preparing them for direct through train to university. And their job for IP and IB, to be honest, is preparing you not just for degree. Yeah? If you stop at degree, good luck to you. I've seen IP students who stop at degree very wasted. Your job is for master degree. So the aims of our curriculums are right here. Is to nurture and develop the Nanyan students, okay? I'm not saying the Nanyan here. A woman characters and empowers learner and agents of change. Now, when I was doing my master, we were talking about just one word of change. We have to write five to 8,000 words about change. Change in characters, change in behavior, change in thinking, change in all whatever you want to change. And it's all about this. Okay, the NYGH will tell you which school already, yeah? Okay, they will tell you what school already, yeah? It's a giveaway already, okay? So you can see that this is what the dispositions has from the IP students. Now, express student, take note. If you want to complain that you got too much to learn, IP got three times of the workload that you are learning, right? Look here. Alex, I think you should know, right? Alex, you have the things that, uh, oh, you look so stressed now, so serious, Alex. It's the holiday start already, I don't like that. Alex, yeah, smile. Okay, you can do it. I still give you A2, I don't want to give you A1. <laughs> okay, all right. So you see, you realize this one now, competency, critical thinking, and you know, this is the one that a lot of IP students, um, I can tell you, uh, uh, no any discriminations. Uh. Singaporean kids are, are still not ready for this tool yet. Usually it's uh, those students from overseas. Okay, not stress. Uh. Uh, we are talking about those really overseas students who are able to think because they come from international school. Then they join like Hua Chong International or some of the IP, then or IB. Or some of them have been staying in overseas for a few years. Then they came into Singapore to do the AECT test. Then they find it, their IQ is so high, their result is so high, then they will go into this and they already got a head start than the rest because they have been done this in the international school. And this is why it makes a difference. All right, so take note of all these things here. Very important, right? So I'm going to cover all this on my set two. Uh, get ready, yeah. So sometimes you guys might see what what is this, or uh, why 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 this comprehension passage is different. Okay, so uh, I really have collections of my some from the Senate, some from Hua Chong, from your 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 senior uh, Alex and Shen, okay, and some from uh, RV, okay. Okay, next move. Moving ahead, um, let me now. I would like to share this and see what is your thoughts on this. Alex, you need as uh. Chenan, did I show, share this with you all last week? Yes or no? Did I share this with you all last week, Inter? Uh, I'm not sure. But I know you shared with us before. Do huh? you share with us every week? Do we, we, did I share this last week not? Because I got a few classes, I can't remember. Ichi, you may know. May you are. Internet, last time I showed you before, right? Many months ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So because for the benefit of those who have not seen this, uh, okay, so maybe give them a, a few minutes. What do you think, uh, Ichi? This is the first time you see this, right, Ichi? Chanam, this is the first time you see this, right? Now, you see, what is that? Okay, maybe we change the topic now, Inter, okay? Uh, so yeah, I think the rest of you. Uh, Mingyi, you can't watch it, how many? 
，明颖有看过这个吗？杨振有看过这个吗？有啊 ，OK， 陈安 ，Right now we are talking about ideology, right, 陈安 ，OK。What is this ideology that you think of from this picture? What is your thought? Remember, we are talking about critical, creative thinking, sir, and problem solving. Okay, what will you say in a few words about this? Uh, oh, if this is a new, maybe like they want to raise awareness of like the unfortunate, unfortunate people around the world. Yeah, there are eight hundred millions. And the number for today, I just checked, is coming to nine hundred million sir, out there in this world. Okay, and by right now, you see, you agree with me now. Instead of carrying a school bag to go to school, he carry this bag. Huh? What 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 is she doing? You see, this one obviously is a girl. Huh? Yeah, it's a girl. Huh? So I think, sorry, I mean, don't don't get mistaken. Huh? I think you agree that huh? you and I are more lucky than than this girl. Huh? Correct. Huh? And look at the shirt! Oh my goodness! With this kind of things, ah, uh, shirt got rusty nail, got rats, got got mosquito, got cockroaches, got rodents. Wow! And I think the shirt has not been washed for many many months. And then she must be sleeping with this very filthy and dirty and smelly shirt. Uh. So, what is your thoughts about this? I think we are fortunate enough compared to her. So, I think we should. Work harder, cause there are many, like eight hundred million people that are more unfortunate than us. When you say work harder, how you define work harder? I mean, is he sorry? I just don't get angry. Ah, is he? You mean for the past few years, you're you're not working hard, man? I mean, this girl <laughs> here she cannot get educated, right? She's also then, working very hard, right? Correct, no? She's working yeah, well, but yeah. I mean, we should work hard on studies because we get to like get better education than her. Hey, but you see, ah, uh, is it a hundred percent when you get become a degree holder, you a hundred percent find a job? No. Yes, in Singapore, yeah. yes. In Singapore, yes, because our government policy is that we make sure every citizen have a job. But you realize, you know, these are Bangladesh worker who come to Singapore and sweep the floor, do the collection of rubbish, and you, know, you you will be surprised, ah, uh, or these doing the all the cultures of the gardens, ah, uh, cutting grass, all these, ah. Uh. Some of them got diploma and degree back home in their country, you know? and they come find a job there and come here and work. Uh, so that one, ah, uh, even you get a degree in India, it doesn't mean you will get a job you know? because that side, some of them are. We are all. We should be honest, ah. Uh, some governments, ah, uh, some parts of the Indians are corrupted. All right, just like in the China last time in the past. Okay. Here is totally anti-corruptions. That's why it's my job and your teacher's job and your parents' job to educate you on the right footing. All right. So so just you know responsive appreciation and love. To let students to learn and take responsibility in their characters, to share and care, appreciate others, and love their parents and one's life. Learning outcome is at the end of this lesson, students will be able to thank God and their parents. Now, this slide was being used for my Christian school, and uh, in my previous school, it's a Christian school, so so that's why we put that thank God. But I'm not advocate to must that to tell you that guys, you must be a Christian, ah. Huh? Okay, please don't mistake what I want to say here. Okay, look at this picture. Sanan, what do you think about this picture? Oh, I think like the children are, uh, starving. So, what is the idea of helping them? Oh, uh, uh, still raising awareness to like show those uh people that have food and like. Uh, show them like how these children don't have food. By the time you raise raise awareness, ah, uh, these two child will be bye bye. Already. In fact, this picture was taken a few months later. They bye bye. Already. Remember, they got this girl squatting there with a voucher ready to attack him. Uh, you saw this picture before, right? A voucher want to attack this boy, girl. The photographer took the picture. 
and then he was being um, uh, criticized for not helping the girl and he can't take it anymore he she he or she committed suicide Bingshen, can you tell me of this picture here first this one was taking this cell factory cell by right is supposed to do something more useful than doing this at this age so i find it's a child abuse okay for doing this kind of job this guy both parents are uh, AIDS victims, AIDS victims died of AIDS. And in fact, after, if you read through here, we find that he also passed away. And this guy is sleeping under the car because he wants to get warm. Okay, Pinkson, what is your ideology for this? How are you going to explain? Wait, what, what am I supposed to explain? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine yeah, now you are a two student, your teacher give you this thing. How are you going to tell the class and how are you going to write this article? Oh, uh, Alex, next to you, uh, your turn. Uh. Yes. Like, so yeah, please write down if you can. Type it. Yes. Uh, they were, uh, their, their, their lives were unfortunate. You're not going to say like that, right? More words to, to come from you, right? Oh, uh, so um, they could have been born into a family like, like a uh, work. Like uh, can can lead, lead a decent life like us, but then um they were born into this war torn or like poor poor countries or third world countries or uh underdeveloped countries. So they um uh landed in this kind of unsanitary uh conditions and they usually get like diseases and uh, unfortunately die, but I think they are just trying to make the best of their lives with what they can do to like support their family and themselves. Yeah. Well done. Uh -huh. Well said. Yes, yes. It is true that in the report say that this there are about five million children each year in Africa and Asia are being abused because of their government policy, their ideology to not take care. But here, as long as someone here who is no um no chance to go to school come from broken families, everyone will have this crowdfunding and start helping this person out and make sure this child will go back to school, enough food to eat and things like that. Alex, what do you think? Like, the, these, these children, like, um, they could have, like, like, I don't know, like, like, while you, while you are, like, like, complaining about, like, you not getting like the latest phone or like the best like accessories for your like stuff mm -hmm. and uh these these children have to like work for themselves or don't even have a home and have to sleep like under a car like as you can see in the picture over there mm. okay they could have also like uh they could have also been born in a fam family like in a first world country but Instead, like this is what this is what like they get, but they still haven't like given up. So like um this they could have been like born in a family like ours, but instead they are born into a family like this. They could have had the same chance to like live the life that we yeah. had. Instead, they are making the most out of the life that they have right now. Good. Okay. Very good. So yeah, this sometime in life we have a choice, but sometimes whether the choice that you make is going to impact the next generation or not. How about this one? You see, people got books to read or uh, things like that. Okay. This is how uh it was. In fact, now also there's some certain parts in China, they are have very run down school, but they are still willing to study because they know they need to get rid of properties. The ideology is that the thinking is that I must get out of here and make a decent living for myself. Now, this is the pictures. Which one do you think is the worst, uh, Ichi? Okay, this is picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four. Which one do you think is the worst? Number four, the 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 guy got flies over him. Uh, some of that is like a maggots or, or disease, right? Okay, Ichi, do you agree, Ichi? 
Chenan, you agree? I got peach, people who watch, look at this picture, freak out, uh, say, please don't show me as well. So you think, uh, why these people for many generations are still suffering like that, and yet the governments, the peoples are not doing anything? Is that their choice they have to do it? Is it their choice they have to do it? Or is it because they have no choice? Or what, what, what is the choice? It's your mentality, whether you want or not. It's whether you want to have a better living or do you just want to take it as is okay, it's what you all say, right? FML, right? Finish my life. Useless. I can't change my life at all. And this is how it happens. See, there are people collecting all the, these uh, uh, rotten uh, vegetables and fruits and maybe they are bringing back to eat or sell and then took uh, the garbage to collect things, to recycle it or use it. And this used to be Singapore last time. This is a true picture from the Russians. The kulaks was being uh, executed because to make them hungry. This is a, a father and a son. You can read now. So um, there's a three possibility, right, Tana? Um, the three possibility is that why the mummy is not there, right, Tana? Can you give me one of the possibility why the mummy is not there? Um, the mother's dead. Okay, thank you. How about Ichi? No, the mother is not there. Why the mother is not there? One, uh, Chenan said the mother is uh, passed away, kicked the bucket. Why is that another reason? The mother left then. Yeah, due to what reason? They are too poor. The yes. mother. Their mother what, sorry? No money to afford, like, taking care of the, the child. You see, uh, when the couple get married, uh, carry on, carry on, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. What else? I finished. Oh, you're done. Okay. So you see, sometimes when a couple get married, you need to plan. You need to have this uh, idea of what is a very uh, uh, ideal family. What kind of family that you want to achieve? Maybe this father used to be a, a, a gambler, a drunk, uh, a, a, a useless guy, a gangster, or whatever it is. And then the wife left him. The wife might be sick at home. There are many reasons. So you see, a picture speaks a thousand words. Yet, behind a picture, there's many stories behind. So you guys have to look through deeper, more creative thinking, be able to solve your curiosity kills the cat. You must show your resident why that you need to see. He knows that it's about time he need to feed because even if I die, my child cannot die. So this is a, um, one of the, the, the father and the son was in a Sichuan earthquake. So he have no choice, but he have to stay in this place where every day he woke up, um, he had to go to the river and wash up himself and the sun. Huh? So uh, Mingyi, what do you think about this picture? Wait, can I think of, can I think for, uh, how about you, uh, Yang Chen? What do you think about this picture? Uh, they're, they're refugees of the earthquake, but they don't have enough like, uh, resources to go elsewhere, so they can only stay. Very sad, huh? So if, what do you think, what, what kind of advice will you give to these fathers? What kind of idea will you want to give to these fathers? Ah, you see, now you understand what I mean? Because we have been living in our very comfort zone, we must get out of a comfort zone. So when we do that, it's just like, imagine this is a comprehension passage. Okay, not picture. Or maybe uh, now you know, you all, uh, for Express student, you got this video, right? Comprehension or the oral. So how, how are you going to tell? How do they help? What kind of suggestion or ideas you're going to tell the father? I say, ah, 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 
，慢慢在那边慢慢洗脸，洗到你那个河没有水就好了。So what do you do? Seriously. I would just encourage them to make the most out of it, and it's not enough. They need food and money and shelter. These are the three basic needs that he needs. So how? Yeah, I can. Uh, there, there should be some uh donation organized by the government. So what happened? I can. Your government is corrupted. How are you going to do it, my dear? Uh, if the government is corrupted, and I will look for uh, non-government organizations that would like to help. Yeah, but you bring the money in, the government use the gun and point at you and take the money away. How? Huh? You know there are some part of the world like that, right? Oh, Yang Chen. Uh, then I would question why I why I'm in the country in the first place. You never know. That's why I'm drawing you these questions. There's a lot of scenario. So what you need to do, if I'm in this kind of positions, is beyond my help, Uncle Raymond. I will write in to the United Nations. I will write in to certain parts of the world that shows appreciation, empathy, and the resilience to help this group of people. A bit of the power of writing. That is very important. Okay. Thank you. Now look at this one. That day we can have a book done. We are very happy. Ye Ye Che Gu. So why do you think this grandfather cried? Inter. Uh, maybe because of happiness. Like what? Like because they, because they like can finally read books. The first thing ah, uh, when you did look at this kind of pictures ah, uh, the first thing that uh, Alex and every one of you, Zhiye, if you are here, Chen An, and Yi Ji, okay, Hao Xian and Eric, Hao Xian is already ah. Uh, is Hao Xian already? Yeah. So when you look at this picture, you first thing come to your mind is where are their parents? How come is he here? There, the grandfather. Where is the grandmother? Where is the parents? Why is the this guy old old man is crying? What happened? Yes, maybe their parents left them. Maybe both the parents was killed in the natural disaster. Maybe both parents are sick, or maybe both parents are killed in the car accidents, or both parents give up on them and find a better life. They don't want to take. The responsibility of caring for them, so there are many reasons for that, right? Is that correct? So this is why I meant here. Now you have to think beyond this story here. Think beyond this picture here. Think of how you're gonna help them. Think of how you reduce this kind of problem. Think of how you eradicate this problem as little as possible. This is called society issue. This is look like your parents are. Huh? Rain or shine, they will go out to work to eke to eke a living and bring food on the table for you. Complain some more, then uh, guys, you guys going to be a parents in the future. Your mom, you are going to be a mother, you're going to be a father. So you you how you going to live your life? The the ideal family of your own family, you choose the path. You want to live in a condominium, landed property, whatever kind of houses. What kind of jobs you want to do? What kind of food? What kind of way you take care of your parents? Start now. Start immediately. Not wait for many years to come, because if you wait longer, time flies. You cannot catch back the time. So you want to catch back the time too late already. You have been losing a lot. So start to read more, write more, learn more. Knowledge is something that will not go off. Okay, you can play games. Nothing wrong. In fact, every night about eleven plus, I I will watch my TikTok. But all these are uh next time I'll show you one of the TikTok. It's very interesting. Okay, and then this is the old man just now. I say he was crying because he got this um uh, this thing here, where he used to do a small business. But because this the chain the bicycle chain was being destroyed by some gangster or maybe some people who want to extort him for protection money. Sadly to say, there was this picture was taken here in two o three. That was wow, my goodness. About more than coming, uh, twenty years already, nineteen or eighteen years. So this picture shows that how the society, what kind of i the ideal society it is, is this happening in Singapore? Will it happen in the future in Singapore? How can we prevent this for further in other parts of the world or even in Singapore in futures? Is it because due to the corruptions of the mindset of people, or is it because that um, the 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 governments are not 
taking care or, or is it because certain parts of the world having this problem is the government take care but there are some issues going on that the government cannot help like what Yang Chen you're saying uh, why am I looking into this sometime in this words called Ren Zai Jiang Wu Ying Zhe Jie Xia Xu Who can add continue for me Ming Yu Ren Zai Jiang Wu Ying Zhe Alex 身不由己。对，人在江湖身不由己，在家靠父母，在外什么？靠兄弟，对吗？在家靠父母，在外靠朋友，靠兄弟。人在江湖身不由己，is it's true. Is this saying is very true? Sometimes in a society, uh, if you are a lawyer, will you want to help a rich man or will you want to help? A, a lady who is a prostitute who uh, innocently was being blamed for killing a customer. That was this in this movie called the Fa Wai Qing. The actor was Liu De Hua. Okay, are you going to help? Because he just graduated from uh, Cambridge or Oxford's law, was one of the top law students and came to back to Hong Kong to practice law. The first case is to handle a prostitute case. And that prostitute was actually his mother. So what are you going to do with it? Last picture, right? Look at this picture here. It shows that this is the mother with a baby here and that this poor baby is going to have blue sniffing. Okay, because when you blew the shoe, they have a shirt and a smell. It's definitely very unhealthy to this baby. And this one here is a second class citizen to me. Okay, okay then this mom can pay and, and mend the shoe. The first class citizen is people who are the mother and the son went go, were inside in this shopping center to buy new shoes. I got another student who say that. I think I got another top first class. What is that? The mother at home using Taobao to buy online shoe. Wow. Technology. Well said. Huh? I only say uh, maybe the, the, the best mother and the son is now in the shopping center to buy the shoe. You say, no, no, uncle. Now the, the another type of mother is the mother at home. Huh? Using the iPhone to serve and then buy shoe online. True or not? True or Liang Ning, Ming Yu, Ziye, Yi Qi, Chen An, Yang Zhen, Ding Shen, Alex, and Eric and Hao Xian. Think, what kind of life you want to be beyond this picture? Today's lesson is up. Think beyond this picture. Think beyond the next few steps. Think when you're reading the essay. No more sad one. Please stop it. No more thinking that you're still sad one. If you still continue to think that.